Okay, hello everyone. Good morning. I hope you are doing fine wherever you are. Okay, let's. Okay, good morning. Uh, good morning, Ma'am Rafanzel Bilawa. Um, okay, this will be my uh, reporting for our subject MPE 104. Uh, before I proceed to my uh, topic, uh, let me first introduce myself. I am Jason P. Baul, and uh, my assigned topic uh, would be okay, the axial region. Okay, the axial region, or most of the upper part of our body. Okay, so I will be presenting some uh, information regarding injuries uh, causes symptoms and uh, treatment for such injuries that is present and can be found uh, within the axial region but before I proceed to uh, the injuries uh, let me first uh, introduce to you uh, the parts that composes the axial region so the axial region makes up the main axis of the human body and Okay, so these are uh, the main parts of our body that connects our limbs, no? Atong lower and, um, and uh, upper extremities. So the axial region composed mainly of the head, so atong ulo, no? So that includes not only uh, our face, no? Uh, also our muscles within our head and uh, the bones. So so our eyes uh, our eyes our nose yes our mouth our ears so that is present within our head also uh, connected to our head our neck case okay, our chest and our trunk and uh, it's not included in my presentation is our spine okay our backbone or the vertebrae so that is also included as a section of the axial region okay uh, here is a picture that i have included so the skull so mainly axial skeleton is yeah but also muscles are uh, included so the skull here it is no the laryngeal skeleton so that is found within our neck so near our vocal cords so the laryngeal uh, laryngeal skeleton and the uh, thoracic cage so atong ribs no so that is also part of the axial region and uh, lastly the vertebral column okay <coughs> excuse me so now uh, let me present to you injuries uh, that is present or that uh, we can acquire no or uh, is found in our uh, the axial region so those different parts of the axial region okay let's start uh, first with the head no the most important part of our body so the head okay I've included uh, one injury that is uh, found in the upper portion of our body the head okay so concussion injury so another term would be a uh, traumatic uh, ba ba traumatic brain injury okay so concussion so i think uh, the visayan term would be uh, nabangog no nabangog also naiguang atong ulo so an injury to the brain also not only the head but uh, also affects the brain or the head area that may cause instant loss of awareness and uh, or alertness for a few minutes so for a few minutes uh, it will last uh, it may last up to few hours no after such a traumatic event Okay, uh, may I present to you a short video uh, regarding uh, concussion injury. A concussion is a type of traumatic brain injury, or TBI, caused by a bump, blow, or jolt to the head. Okay, a bump, blow, or jolt to or the head. Or by a hit to the body that causes your head and brain to move rapidly back and forth. 
This sudden movement can literally cause the brain to bounce around or twist in the skull, stretching and damaging the brain cells and creating chemical changes in the brain. What you might not know is that these chemical changes make the brain more sensitive to any increased stress or injury until it fully recovers. Okay, so mostly affected is our brain. So let me get back to the presentation. Okay. So concussion injury or uh, traumatic brain injury. So here are some causes that can cause concussion or traumatic uh, brain injury. So as what I've researched, no. So for men, sports uh, number one uh, con uh, that contributes to concussion to men in sports is uh, football game. Okay, so football ang number one causes of concussion for men. In contrast with uh, women's uh, sports, so number one uh, contribution to concussion to uh, women's sports is basketball yes so basketball for women so only 10% of concussions involve uh, someone being knocked out so in terms of a sport again no? boxing so that's 10% of concussions worldwide and the most uh, common causes of concussion are falls and violence so kanang mahagbong tano or mahayang then ang maunang maigo sa floor is ang ato ang ulo so that is a very uh, delicado kayo no so false and uh, violence so when experiencing a uh, traumatic brain injury or concussion uh, it may be subtle no and may not occur right away so dili dayon dayon so possibly later pa ni mo siya ma masinati ang iyahang symptoms nga na concussion ka and the result uh, the symptoms may last for days no weeks or even longer than a week so after a mild traumatic brain injury or concussion or incident no results to headache so this is a common symptoms o magsakit ang ulo okay confusion so magsalimuang no so ato ang visayan term and loss of memory so worst case scenario is ang um, affected is mainly our brain man so there are instances nga there are nerve cells that may die no and uh, may cause a uh, short term memory no psychiatric uh, medical cases so also uh, concussion may cause amnesia so entire loss of memory no so in uh, severe cases concussion may cause amnesia okay. so here are some images that i've included no so signs of concussion uh loss of consciousness so mawadan ka og panimot so loss of consciousness so some of that no kanang mga instances of uh, boxing matches so in terms of knockout so uh, the athlete will uh, have a loss of consciousness for a while no another is disorientation so dili mahiluna okay incoherent speech so after a concussion so the uh, you cannot uh, communicate properly so that is one uh, signs of concussion confusion memory loss again and uh, days or vacant stare so if you can notice no someone nga mag uh, layo na kay tinanawan so maybe uh, na siya symptom of concussion okay another is headache or dizziness or common symptoms difficult concentrating or uh, sensitivity to light so dili ka siya makatarong og uh, tanaw if hayag kayo ang palibot hayag para niya ang palibot Okay, of course, ringing in the ears, no? So, dili kay maklaro na eh, tingling sensation within your ear. So, it it is one of the causes of concussion. So, kung mabangog ta, no? So, simbako lang po. So, uh, effects is ringing in the ears. Fatigue o sobrang nakakapoy. So, maybe uh, you will not feel immediately the effect of concussion, no? So, later part, you will feel fatigue or tired. Okay, vomiting also, magsuka, no? These are effects of uh, 
traumatic brain injury so magsuka okay uh, these are uh, rehab and treatments that you can get no if you experience a traumatic brain injury so first is uh, depending your follow-up care you will need afterwards depends on how severe your brain damage and how well you respond to therapy okay it really depends no if there's mild injury no maybe a day or two will do for your treatment but in terms of uh, severe cases of concussion uh, so instances and is uh, you will stay more uh, much more longer in for treatment or in hospitals so worst case scenario is also would be so magulay no so uh, your nerves will not work properly you will not send uh, messages anymore to the different parts of your body it will affect your uh, mobility your movement no that is one of the severe cases of concussion so brain is a very important part of our movement if some of the nerve cells in our brain will die so uh, our movements mobility will be of course limited Okay, another uh, treatment would be physical therapy. So, most common treatment uh, yeah, gonna provide for these injuries, no, especially severe ones. So, these are treatment that helps you improve how your uh, body performs or so physical movements. So, tabangan gana through movements, exercises, yes occupational therapy so in contrast with physical occupational therapy uh, regain independence in all areas of uh, your life no, of their lives so to those who are affected so emotionally uh, physically uh, they are being helped by our uh, medical therapist no. okay another one is psychological care so in terms of a loss of memory no uh, and also psychiatric care so diagnosing and treating mental illness so worse uh, severe cases uh, of uh, traumatic brain injury so hopefully dili mabot ing aning stage no another treatment would be speech and language therapy okay example na ganya is katong will result to stroke no magagulay ang isa ka individual tungod sa uh, brain injury so communication will uh, be limited no as cannot uh, talk properly so speech and language therapy is a must for them okay so slowly help them regain their uh, normal uh, communication and speech and of course social support is very important okay, uh, you cannot survive if you're alone no? you need the help of your family or your loved ones to go through your crisis or your injury no? Imong na, that you have acquired okay that is uh, some treatments that is oh, hopefully uh, not required no when you experience uh, traumatic brain injury or concussions okay let's proceed to another part of the axial region okay the neck uh, this connects your head to the rest of your body okay the neck is very important so one injury that uh, you can acquire no or makuha ni mong simba kolwampun so cervical sprain so a sprain can happen when ligaments in the necks are torn so your uh, neck composes uh, bones and muscles and ligaments no so nag start ana ang ato ang uh, backbone okay there is a liquid no? let's take a look i've included a picture here so here are some ligaments that is present within your okay, frontal neck okay. there is a vertebrae the bones that connects uh, spinal cord okay connected from your brain to your 
uh, backbone okay cervical sprain I will also include here a video okay let's take a look brains a neck strain or sprain occurs when one or more muscles ligaments or tendons in the neck are injured the cervical spine has a wide range of motion in all directions this motion is supported by a complex structure of muscles ligaments and tendons the large neck muscles such as the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius okay, trapezius muscle in the upper back portion enable the gross motor movements in the neck the large triangle shaped trapezius connects the back of the neck and the shoulders a neck strain affects cervical muscles and tendons bands of fibrous tissue that connect the muscles to bones sprains affect the ligaments bands of fibrous tissue that connect the vertebral bones to each other and provide stability to joints uh, these are the ligaments affected by cervical sprain neck strains and sprains occur when these soft tissues are stretched beyond their normal limits or torn causing pain tenderness and difficulty moving the neck neck pain may radiate into the shoulder and over the shoulder blade and upper back when the trapezius muscle is strained Neck strains and sprains can occur either due to a sudden injury, such as a car accident that forces the head suddenly forward and then backward in a whiplash motion. Okay, whiplash motion. So sudden uh, movement of our neck, no? These injuries can also develop over time due to poor posture. Muscle strain in the neck can also be accompanied by inflammation around the injured tissue and neck muscle spasms as the body tries to stabilize the injury. These muscle spasms can be quite painful. Many cases of neck strain or sprain will resolve after a few days, but flare-ups or aching pain may continue for weeks or months after the initial injury. Okay. So, basically ligaments that are torn, no? that is cervical sprain. So, whiplash is a term for uh, the sudden movement no so there's a stress within our uh, ligaments in the neck that will cause it to turn so ma stretch sagtaman so magisi siya or maputol so so we plush no so sudden back and forth movement of the neck so those are uh, what that is one of the causes of cervical sprain so another one is fall so mahagbong no mahagba ta then ma affected ng atong neck ma pressure siya so that will cause cervical sprain of course no sports uh, related injuries so again football wrestling these are uh, very uh, physical uh, physical games so need a contact sports uh, where their neck is subjected to sudden or forceful impacts of course no apila ng boxing basketball also then also repetitive strain so in contrast with the uh, sudden movements no uh, repetitive strain also contributes to cervical sprain so the overuse of neck muscles and ligaments from repetitive movements so sigur then uh, in terms of exercise wala ni na warm up imuhang neck muscles that will uh, contribute to cervical sprain and uh, also improper lifting techniques okay so mag alsa og bugat then uh, they will cause stress in your neck muscles another one is trauma or blows or direct hit or accidents or also no, physical altercation makita kag away no ma affected ang mong brain through to sudden hits and movements Go, oh, these are uh, symptoms of uh, cervical sprain so these are different grades no depending on the severity of the sprain so first uh, grade would be so you will feel uh, stiffness when you are moving your neck so stiff neck is one no? uh, due to okay maybe your sleeping position so in terms of uh, long terms of uh, not moving uh, your neck so it will cause stiffness so that is uh, uh, more and more on the mild side of cervical sprain 
so uh, next level uh, is would uh, would be uh, the pain will radiate to nearby areas like your head so maabot na ang sakit sa mo ang upper portion uh, sa head you can feel uh, the uh, pain within your face then it will also affect your shoulder and back so there is maybe a tear in the ligaments no of your neck so muscles in the neck so that is the symptoms that you may feel so another is uh, more severe no uh, grade 3 you will feel a burning uh, tingling sensation so you will feel like there are pins and needles uh, that is injected uh, in your neck so this uh, there is a there is a term there so paresthesia so burning tingling sensation or you can feel nga na yung tusok sa imuhang liog okay uh, that will also uh, include your upper back your shoulders and your upper arms no you will feel those burning sensation so more on uh, the injury in the neck and possibility of no injury in the neck okay uh, the highest one is the uh, fourth grade the extreme is yeah so at least one neck vertebrae has a fracture so that is a uh, possibility no na uh, one bone is fractured within your spine so or near your neck so we have a bones here that is connected to our backbone huh? so there's possibility that there is a fracture in your neck so that needs a uh, medical attention as soon as possible okay so those are symptoms of uh, cervical sprain so uh, there are these are the treatments that uh, you must have if you experience a cervical sprain so cervical sprains are most helpful okay so medical attention no? most helpful right after uh, the injury so possibility Anna, is you have to wear a soft collar around your neck no to limit your movement so to help support the head and relieve pressure on the ligaments so they have time to heal so in terms of so our uh, neck muscles or those ligaments will heal on their own okay so maayar uh, sila with the help of of course no medications mga tambal so it will help uh, mapadali so to fasten the healing process of uh, the torn ligaments of your neck so to support that you the do doctors and medical uh, nurses will uh, put a soft collar within your neck para dili kayo malihok siya no imuhang neck so for a meantime you it will okay assist or support your uh, backbone or your neck para mapadali siya kaayo okay so that also includes muscle relaxants uh, this will also help ease spasms oh, so in terms of muscles ni siya so these are medications that will help ease uh, the pain that you are experiencing near your neck or the affected muscles also no pain relievers such as aspirin acetaminophen and ibuprofen these are all uh, pain relievers so to lessen the pain that you are experiencing you need to take these medications so uh, it will be prescribed by your doctors no? so again so these ligaments will heal on their own so uh, with the help of the medication so this is what it looks like no so it's either plastic or uh, maybe foam as yeah that will support your neck throughout the healing process okay so that is a cervical uh, sprain so another part of the axial region no, is the ribs okay so this surrounds our you know, also important organs no, our heart no, our lungs so this surrounds uh, these uh, very uh, essential no, organs this protects our organs 
so the ribs okay uh, rib fractures let's proceed to rib fractures okay a rib fracture is the medical term for a broken ribs so ang ato ang chest no so ang likod na is uh, ribs na siya nagsurround sa ato ang heart and lungs and other organs in our body Okay, uh, let's take a look at the at a video that I have prepared. Uh, these are possible uh, possible scenarios that uh, will uh, contribute to uh, experiencing a rib fracture. Uh, rib injuries. The cervical spine is a remarkable construct of interconnected vertebrae, joints, muscles, ligaments, and tendons, all of which work together to provide support while allowing a wide range of motion. However, any of these anatomical structures can wear down or become injured, causing neck pain and possibly pain that radiates down the arm. Acute neck pain usually involves a tear to a muscle or ligament in the neck. The neck may become sore or stiff. If muscle spasm is involved, pain may be intense. Neck pain that lasts or keeps coming back over a period of at least three months is considered... I'm sorry. Okay, possibility of fracture, no? Bones in the ribs. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is the posterior rib. Okay, going back to the presentation. Okay. So these are this is the uh, rib uh, section of our body. So cutting apart, this is the clavicle. Cutting uh, attach ni mo so the middle uh, bone that is the sternum so ani ana i a compress during cpr ani nga part okay as the middle portion of your uh, body uh, directly hitting your heart then under that is the rib cage okay so the rib cage is okay the, this is a picture of a rib cage The costa okay the ribs is the outer portion no? so that is mostly affected in terms of fractures so that is connected uh, the sternum connects the uh, rib connects the ribs via the costal cartilage no the costal cartilage cutting apart okay so these are uh causes of uh, rib fractures so rib fractures are usually caused by car accidents no uh, of course sports injuries or other related traumas uh, mostly car accidents no another one is uh, in terms of external uh, mga panghitabo, no? that will uh, contribute to rib fracture the, it is possible to break a rib without experiencing trauma. Yes. So uh, another one is so cancer, no? Cancer that spread through bones. So what will happen is your bones will be soft, or your bones will be, will be weakened. So that will result to uh, no? So another one is severe cuffs, no? In terms of pressure na pressure sa imo hang rib cage so atong likod is naman na ang atong lungs diha so mo expand na siya because of uh, you coughing no so that will put pressure within your ribs that will cause it to break another one is osteoporosis so this will mostly affect uh, elderly people or elderly individuals no so as we grow old our bones become much more weaker no samot na og dili mag maintenance 
So a illness on osteoporosis uh, will cause the weakening of our ribs so it is prone to breaking it will be prone to breaking so symptoms of uh, rib fracture would be of course no pain especially when you breathe cough or move your chest and uh, upper body so sakit iginhawa sakit inig ubo no especially uh, near the ribs no region so or move your chest and upper body terms of uh, mobility sakit ang parts sa uh, ribs na to so another one is tenderness so mar ka nang naghubag oh, parts sa imuhang ribs or imuhang muscles or skin nga skin na part so mo manay dali na to makita so there is a tenderness o gahubag siya sa sulod another one is bruising or discoloration so uh, same as ni hubag no discoloration so nasamad okay so it may be external no makikita na to or internal na siya nga ah uh, uh, nga wound or samad no nasa sulod dayo at kabalo but it result to tenderness and of course pain of course there are uh, treatments and rehabilitation measures that uh those individuals who are affected with uh, rib fractures okay so again no same with uh, previous pres uh, previous presentation so ligaments uh, can heal and they are same as with uh, ribs no most rib fractures can be treated with rest so pahuera icing and uh, otc okay over the counter drugs so none uh the term any non uh, anti-inflammatory okay i think no non okay uh, i remember now non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs yes uh, or uh, such as aspirin or ibuprofen so these medications were, were will help in the healing process of our ribs so in terms of healing no they can heal on their own again now with the help of uh, medications mga tambal okay, they can heal on their own but uh, instances no dili uh, ma apply no so those mild cases lang with rib fractures uh, but in terms of other complications no such as oh, dili na siya affect sa bones only uh, but uh, in terms of muscles or organs is affected so it will uh, need uh, medical attention of course no check up okay uh, again no? if any of your organs are damaged during a trauma example would be car accident no you might need to stay in the hospital while those injuries are repaired so not only within the ribs no if there are organs that is also affected so what will happen is uh, those organs uh, wounds should heal first okay then uh, you will continue with the healing process in terms of your broken bones okay so you need to pri prioritize those organs that is wounded so that it will not uh, complicate or no ma, ma infected so those are uh, treatments for uh, rib fracture okay let's proceed to okay another one of course no a uh, very essential part of our uh, this also no nervous system ato ang skeletal system after mobility uh, we we should know we should protect our spine because it is very sensitive and it is very essential in our lives no so uh okay okay within the within our backbone so those are vertebrae that is connected so ang um, atubangan na is uh, somewhat nagiprotektahan uh, sa nga ato uh, protected by our vertebrae or the spinal cord ok 
okay uh, the vertebrae and the spinal cord is uh, are different things no? this uh, vertebrae are the backbone so those are bones only connected with each other then it is protecting our spinal cord so this is the bundle of nerves that uh, carries messages no back and forth from our brain no? to the muscles and other soft tissues okay so as your spinal cord travels down your back it's protected by a stack of backbone so they're called the vertebrae they also hold your body upright so so ato ang posture of course uh contribute anang ato ang backbone okay uh, i have also prepared a video here Okay, uh, let's pers uh, let's discuss first uh, the injury. Yeah, okay. Uh, here is uh, an image of the your spine. Okay, the upper portion oh, near your neck that's the cervical uh, vertebrae. Okay, so under that is the okay the cervical vertebrae connects your head no. Okay, to your thoracic vertebrae. Okay. So thoracic uh, vertebrae section stretches from your upper back to just below your belly button. So I think that this is the longest uh, section of your backbone. So uh, the third or the lower part, which is opening moragabog sa tong likod no, that's the lumbar vertebrae. So lumbar vertebrae. So mga sa mga lingkuranan ay lumbar. So ano na siyang apart? And the bottom part is the sacrum and uh, coccyx uh, that is located near your buttocks. Okay, so one uh, injury that is present or uh, is mostly affected by uh, the spine is the spinal cord uh, compression. So from the word no compression na ipit. So, uh, spinal cord compression is caused by any condition that puts pressure on your spinal cord. Okay. Here is a video once again. Due to impact, no? So, the, there is a trauma in the impact. These are the vertebrae, no? So, uh, jumping. Okay, uh, there is a fracture within the bone. So, you see and plate fracture with wedging. So, na dislocate. Uh, that includes the ribs, no? Dislocates, yeah. terms of uh, the, the dislocation of and the fracture within the bones no that will also affect uh, the spinal cord no uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, the image that i have included so uh, here it is okay the vertebrae this is your backbone uh, this is your backbone okay so the spinal cord is inside your uh, backbone there's the spinal cord then if uh, the instances as uh, what we have uh, observed in the video if there is a broken uh, vertebrae so there is a pressure uh, in the spinal cord so that results to a, a spinal cord compression so it is very detrimental no if not cured or have tre uh, or be treated immediately Okay, so causes, let's proceed to the causes. 
Common causes of spinal cord compression is the gradual wear and tear of the bones of the spine. No, going back, to, uh, no osteoarthritis, known as osteoarthritis. So that is the weakening of the bones in our uh, specifically in our spine, so the back bones. No, so it will be easily uh, be broken or fractured. So, in terms of osteoarthritis, uh, people who develop spinal cord compressions from this are usually older than 50. So, mo yung elderly no will uh, suffer from these illnesses. Osteoarthritis. So, maipit ang ato ang spinal cord uh, that will result to different times uh, different types of uh, it will affect our uh, movement. Uh, let's take a look at the next. Okay, spinal compression causes another also no scoliosis. So this is the there is a curvature in our backbone. So there is a pressure no so sa ato ang uh, spinal cord because of the dislocation or disalignment of the vertebrae in our uh, backbone. Another is a spinal tumor. Okay, uh, so instances would be there is a tumor within your uh, spine. So within in between these uh, bones, there would be muscles affected, no, with tumors causing a again pressure to the uh, spinal cord. So in terms of tumor, it will also give you. Uh, spinal cord compression so complications in terms of the uh, illness another is infection no? so infections uh, muscle affected near the spine uh, will also cause spinal cord compression or stress to our spinal cord okay here are the symptoms no uh, first is okay. Another thing is in terms of spinal cord compression, uh, it may uh, develop quickly. Uh, instances it will also develop slowly. No, so it really depends on the case. So second is pain and stiffness in the neck. Uh, not only the neck, no. Okay, the back portion and the lower back, uh, the lumbar uh, part of our spine. Uh, the limited uh, movements so that is also uh, symptoms another is a burning pain that spreads to the arms arms your buttocks behind the part or down into the leg so uh, there's a term that's called uh, medical term is sciatica sciatica if I'm not wrong so that is a burning sensation that uh, you will feel on these different parts of your body so maybe one of the cause is a spinal cord compression uh, there is a pressure within your uh, spinal cord okay then another would be a loss of a sensation in the feet so hindi na ka makabati sa imuhang tiil o bislito na siya no you cannot feel it anymore no sensation loss of sexual ability okay wala gana siguro no so uh, that will also affect uh, sexual activity uh, sexual life nimo number 3 is an uh, trouble with hand or leg coordination okay maybe there is a delay no i think if you think that you can lift your hand no you can shoot or you can walk it will not uh, respond immediately so there is a lag maybe or a delay within your coordination so that is mobility no so again so spinal cord is very important in terms of our mobility because uh, the brain sends signals or messages throughout our body via our spine so if maputol na siyang uh, path or signal so you cannot move okay so let's proceed to of course no there are also treatments uh, if there are injuries no there is also treatments 
So spinal cord compression, rehabilitation, and treatment. This includes okay, uh, again, no, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. So these are mostly uh, this uh, based on my experience, no, or what I have seen through the internet. Uh, this really does help, no, steroids, no, steroids in terms of uh, the fast healing process of these types of injuries uh, this relieves pain and swelling no and steroids injections that reduce swelling okay so another one is radiation therapy okay in terms of tumors again no tumors that are compressing the spinal cord so the tumor should be considered first or should be given medical attention first no kay momento siya reason nga na ay pressure sa imong spinal cord ini dako sa tumor it will grow no so it will push the vertebrae affecting the uh, spinal cord so uh, you should uh, the tumor should be healed first Okay, again, no, physical therapy in terms of movements. So it really depends on the severity, of, of course, no, of the uh, injury. So if if you it is very sensitive, maybe physical therapy will be added later in the treatment. And worst case scenario, you know, so surgical treatment, so operation is necessary. So this includes removing bone spurs and making the space between vertebrae wider so as to release the tension in between your bones so uh, an operation or surgery is needed uh, to advance the healing process uh, to also lessen uh, the pain of the individual experiencing this okay i think uh, i think that's the end of my report uh, I hope you have learned something out of my presentation. Okay, I think I've uh, presented uh, what needed to be presented. Okay, again, I uh, thank you, Ma'am Rafanzel Bulilawa, for this opportunity, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. Thank you.